Hi, so this is my video for my 100 books in a year reading thing for June. So I will get to it if I can find my list of books. Okay, so first I read My Name is Mina by Dave Dalmond. I really did like this book actually. It was a It's a children's book, or is it young adult? I think it was in the young adult section actually. And it's, it's a prequel to Skellig, which I've not read, but... I heard the author talk a bit about this book when I went to a talk thing and I really liked the voice of it and the voice continued throughout the book and I just thought it was a really great story. I then read Gone, the Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn. I love this book. It took me a while to get into it because I wasn't quite sure of the writing style but I absolutely love all the twists in this book and how the voices change and it's just another great book that I'm glad I've read. I then read Malala's autobiography which... I would admit some of the political stuff kind of confused me at times. There are a lot of different names and sometimes hard to keep track of it, but I did really like how she talks about education and how she's fighting for it, so I was just like, yeah, for that part. So that was another good one. I then read two books by Joe Scriber called Pretty Deadly and Pretty Lethal, which I've done a review for. Um, yes, I really love these. I love the characters in these books, particularly Gobi, who is just this amazingly strong female protagonist and I just I love all the action and the fast pace and the chapter titles are brilliant for these books so another good couple of books. I then read Other Bound by Corinne Do 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 This. Um it was all about two different worlds and a guy ends up inhabiting another girl's body and she's in this fantasy world and it's a it was an interesting read but at times I wasn't quite sure about it, so it was okay, but I I think there could have been more kind of stuff, out, although there was a lot of action and a lot of twists, but I think somehow it just could have been developed a bit more, I'm not quite sure how, which doesn't help, but there you go. I then read Why We Broke Up by Daniel Hander, which I loved, I loved the illustrations in this book, it just made it even better, and it was a great story, and... I loved all the film references and the, even though I've not read a lot of them, but, you, you know, it helped to make a more three-dimensional character because, you know, she's talking about all this stuff and you kind of really get a sense of her world and the relationship that builds between her and I can't remember the guy's name now, but it was, it was really a, another great book and probably one of my favourite YAs again. I then read Oh Yeah, Audrey by Tucker Shaw, so it was about... A story of a girl who goes to New York on like a little kind of trail of the places from Breakfast at Tiffany's. Well, that's her plan anyway. Things kind of change throughout, and but I did really like. I love the references to Breakfast at Tiffany's, and I kind of really want to watch this film now. So that's kind of on my list to do now. And yeah, I think that could have been developed a bit more as well. I mean, it was good YA, but maybe, oh, this sounds horrible, but it wasn't, like, anything special or nothing that really sh stuck out at me, so, yeah, uh, that's eight books, I'm, I'm hoping I'm halfway, that I've read 50, I kind of need to count them up, but I will, maybe I'll write that in the description or something once I've added them all up, so, yeah, that's all the books I've read so far in June, and that's it. <laughs>